Wattpad was born in an airport, on the back of a napkin, in Canada. Alan Lau and Ivan Ewan were two colleagues sitting in an airport, and they both liked to read. Hmm, they probably thought. Lightbulb, Eureka, Watson, come in here, I need you. An idea was hatched for an online publishing platform called Wattpad, which they successfully launched in 2006. To very little fanfare. And Lau and Ewan realized they had a problem. People were posting, but nothing was catching. It took two years for someone to publish original content, which caught some traction, and they realized they had momentum. So, they added things, things like the ability to upvote stories, follow authors, and hold contests. By 2013, Wattpad had 18 million users, which is good, and 32 million stories, which is also good, and even more competition, which is bad. Fanfiction.net was responsible for Fifty Shades of Grey, publishers like HarperCollins got in the game, but Wattpad had something the others didn't, scale, and also business acumen. Wattpad's millions of writers write hundreds of thousands of pages a day, but only the best, 200 or 0.005%, make any money. In fact, authors have a better chance of being fatally struck by lightning than getting paid for their work on publishing sites, including Wattpad. But a stingy business model means more money for Wattpad, especially when they can boot literary agents out of the picture and take a cut straight from a book or movie deal. Add in revenue from on-site advertisements and you can say Lao and Yuan are sitting pretty on their new age publishing model slash talent agency. Not too shabby for a Canadian bar napkin idea, eh?